I say now YouTube, fair use. This is allowed for criticism, news reporting, and teaching and parody, which doesn't infringe upon my copyright. Or uh, truly, this is a content notice. You can contact the owner down at the bottom, best way you can. All right. Warning. Let's cook. Let's cook. <laughs> All right, all right, say now, nine spiral, let's cook, let's cook, let's cook, all right. All right, see, I like to cook up uh, things that people don't like to talk about, right? And so we're going to cook up, well, well I'm going to title this, let's just say, um, a deeper look inside the salvation of the Gentiles, okay? A deeper look inside the salvation of the gentiles now we're gonna get it from this um gentleman right here uh i have the utmost respect for him and uh, uh brothers like um uh, dana stevens and those of like mine right um um who are smart right and who read and uh maybe listening to uh, my wisdom right and so we're gonna give him the floor and um uh, let him do his thing. Uh, again, you're rocking with Nine Spiral. Uh, Shabbat Shalom to the home team. And hope you're having a Baruch Shabbat. Let's go. All right, so this video is about black people and how they're actually superior, not just physically and all this and, and genetically and all that stuff, but actually they're the chosen people. Not all black people, but a lot of them, and even I could say, I don't know. Now, he made out a very good point, uh, not all of them, <laughs> right? Uh, indeed, we do know that all skin folk and kin folk, it is very important that we know that by now, right? Today, to, today, right now, with me, I need you to know that. All right, let's go. I could say most of them, but many of them. Specifically the people that are living in America, and specifically the people who have been sent all over the earth on slave ships, those people are superior, even in the Most High's eyes himself, because those people are the Israelites. And there's a scripture that says, not only it says if you bless them, you'll be blessed, there's also one that says, you have to cling to them or you can't even be saved. So for one, that means acknowledging who they are, obviously. And for two, it means reading even their own scriptures because these scriptures are not for everyone. They're for them, and if you want to follow after their, their God, of course, he is the God of all, uh, but he's not, not all people are his people. <laughs> you see how that works? So if you want to even be saved, you need to get in line and you need to step behind his chosen people. Okay, and the reason that this earth is gone behind Satanism, I mean, I'm sorry, racism, <laughs> is because we live in a satanic world, and Satan ex exclusively hates these chosen Israelite black people more than anyone else, and he hates them and he wants to bury them. No doubt. Because not only he hates them because they're chosen, but he hates them because literally, like I just explained, they're your and my hope to be saved. Of course, we don't need them, but salvation is for them and it's for okay let's clear that up a little bit uh i think what the gentleman here is trying to say uh that and he alluded to it earlier um that uh the recognition right of who uh we are um that is the beginning right the recognition um uh, indeed the most high will uh make you recognize and bow down um, again, um, this is not something I, I would use or um, uh, create this type of content uh, to boast on uh, because the Most High says he's going to do that. 
uh, we're just dealing with the facts and uh, taking a, a deeper look and just getting a proper edification. All right, pop off, pop off, out. Let's go, let's go now. For all who cling to the truth that came down through them and for them. In other words, they're first, you're second. This is explained not only in the Bible, but also all of the books that should be in your so-called Bible, but were not allowed in by the Freemasonic organizations that rule and control the earth because they don't want you to know all that truth. But it is out there. I know it's in Baruch. I know it's in Ezra. That's the message for this video. And again, say it again, black people, this, especially the... Hebrew Israelites, the actual chosen people of the Most High, who was sent on slave ships, not for the sake of all of them, but for the sake of the many. Because just as all humans, all humans are fallen, the majority of them oftentimes did not follow after him, but he always had his Zion. He, he even always had his prophets, he always had his faithful people, but they were even sent into exile for the sake of the many. Because the Most High isn't playing around and he deals with people as a whole. Don't so get he it, even no. deals with his chosen nation as a whole. Don't get it. So wrapping up this video, his chosen people are the black people who were sent on slave ships. You need to bless them if you even want to be blessed on this earth. And if you even want to be saved and make it into the next earth, you need to cling to this truth. And even metaphorically and even literally cling to them. Because salvation is not for everyone. The All right. Salvation. Is not for everyone. So what is the conclusion of the matter? Well, as I conceive in my own understanding, uh, they will take the place of some of us Israelites as far as being a part of that one third. Uh, but they will uh, they're able to obtain salvation through us, right? Uh, but they still have to go into servitude. These are not my words. This is the most high. So if you got a problem with it, uh, take it up with him. Nonetheless, let's rock. All right, welcome to Forbidden Scripture, Nine Spiral. Let's get some edification. Deuteronomy 30, verse 1 through 7. And now it shall come to pass, when all these things come upon you, the blessing and the curse, which I have set before you, and you call them to mind among all the nations where the Most High your power drives you, Israel, and you return to the Most High, your power, and obey his voice. According to all that I command you today, you and your children, with all your heart and with all your soul, that the Most High, your power, will bring you back from captivity and have compassion on you, Israel. And gather you again from all nations where the Most High your power has scattered you. If any of you are driven out to the furthest parts of the Shemaim, from there the Most High will gather you. And from there he will bring you. And then the Most High your power will bring you to the land which your fathers possess and you shall possess it. He will prosper you and multiply you more than your fathers. And the Most High, your power, will circumcise your heart and the hearts of your descendants to love the Most High, your power, with all your heart and with all your soul, that you may live. And the Most High, your power, will put all these curses on your enemies and on those who hate you who persecuted you, Israel. Uh, 
Isaiah 14, verse 1 and 2. For the Most High will have mercy on your aqua and will still choose Israel and settle them in their own land. The strangers will be joined with them and they will cling to the house of Jacob. Then people will take them and bring them to their place and the house of Israel will possess them for servants and maids in the land of the Most High. They will take them captives who captives they were and rule over the oppressors. Huh? Isaiah 14 verse 18 and 21 All the kings of the nation all of them sleep in glory everyone in his own house but you are cast out of your grave like an abominable branch like the garment of those who are slain thrust through with a sword who go down to the stones of the pit like a corpse trodden underfoot you will not be joined with them in burial because you have destroyed your land and slain your people. The blood of evildoers shall never be named. Prepare slaughter for her children because of the inequity of their fathers. Lest they raise up and possess the land and fill the face of the world with cities, huh? Isaiah 49, verse 22 through 26. Thus says the Most High Hawaii, Behold, I will lift my hand in an oath to the nations, and set up my standards for the peoples. They shall bring your sons in their arms, and your daughters shall be carried on their shoulders. Kings shall be your foster fathers, and their queens your nursing mothers. They shall bow down to you with their faces to the earth, and lick up the dust of your feet. Then you will know that I am the Most High, for they shall not be ashamed who wait for me. Huh? Shall the prey be taken from the mighty? Or the captives of the righteous be delivered? But thus says the Most High, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible be delivered. For I will contend with him who contends with you, Israel. And I will save, I say it, I will save your children. I will feed those who oppress you with their own flesh and they shall be drunk with their own blood as with sweet wine. All flesh shall know that I, the Most High, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Huh? Isaiah 56, verse 6 through 8. Also, the sons of the foreigners who joined themselves to the Most High to serve Him and to love the name of the Most High. <gasps> wow! To be His servants, everyone who keeps from defiling the Shabbat 
and hold fast my covenant. Even them I will bring to my holy mountain and make them joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and their sacrifices will be accepted on my altar. My house shall be called a house for prayer for all nations. The Most High Hawa, who gathers the outcast of Israel, says, Yet I will gather to him others besides those who are gathered to him. Huh? Isaiah 60, verse 1 through 12. Arise, shine, for your light has come. And the glory of the Most High is risen upon you, Israel. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and deep darkness the people. But the Most High will arise over you. His glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, my Naga. Hmm? And kings to the brightness of your rising. Lift up your eyes all around and see. They all gather together. They come to you, my Yaqua. Huh? Your sons shall come from afar and your daughters shall be nursed at your side. Then you shall see and become what? Radiant. And your heart shall swell with joy because of abundance of the sea shall be turned to you, Israel. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to you, Jacob. The multitudes of camels shall cover your land. Your land. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah. All those from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense and they shall proclaim the praise of the Most High. All the flocks of Kadar shall be gathered together to you, Israel. The rams and the bayath shall minister to you. They shall ascend with acceptance on my altar and I will glorify the house of my glory who are these who fly like a cloud and like doves to their roost surely the coastlands shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish will come first to bring your sons from afar their silver and their gold with them to the name of the Most High, your power, and to the Holy One of Israel, because he has glorified you, Israel. Huh? The sons of the foreigners shall build up your walls, and their kings shall minister to you, for in my wrath I struck you, but, but, but in my favor I have had mercy on you, Israel. Therefore, your gates shall be open continually. They shall not be shut day nor night. That men may bring to you the wealth of the Gentiles and their kings in procession. For the nation and kingdom which will not serve you shall perish and those nations 
shall be utterly ruined. Huh? Joel 2, 28 to 32. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour out my ruach, my spirit on all flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. And also on my men servants and on my maid servants, I will pour out my spirit my Ruach in those days. Huh? And I will show wonders in the Shamaims and in the earth, blood and fire and pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the coming of the great and awesome day of the Most High. <gasps> wow. And it shall come to pass that whoever calls on the name of the Most High <gasps> wow. shall be saved. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem there shall be deliverance. As the Most High has said, among the remnant whom the Most High calls. Huh? Malachi chapter 3, verse 11 and 12. And I will rebuke the devourer for your sakes, Israel, so that he will not destroy the fruit of your ground. Nor shall the vine fail to bear fruit for you, Israel, in the field, says the Most High of hosts. And all the nations will call you blessed. Mm -hmm. For you will be a delightful land, says the Most High of hosts. Hands up. Breathe in. <gasps> Breathe out. Wow. <sighs> 